two. Here's one down the sideline. Pass caught by Des Bryant. And now Mike McCarthy is looking to challenge. After review, it has been determined that the receiver did not maintain possession of the football. So what if Des caught that ball? Well, he did catch it. And according to the latest interpretation of the catch rule, he uh, really did catch it. But as we all know, it didn't count. But what if it did? What would have happened or changed? Well, say Dallas punches it in there from the half yard line and fends off the reigning 2014 MVP to hold on for the win. It would have been on to Seattle and the NFC Championship for Jerry Jones' boys. The Cowboys would have then lost miserably under a heap of Seahawks pressure, crowd noise, and Tony Romo blunders, right? No. Romo under center, handoff Murray, coming right, into the middle, to the 10, 5, lock the door, touchdown Murray! Dallas had traveled to Seattle in week six of that season, taking it to the Seahawks in one of the best games of 2014. It was no fluke. As sturdy as Pete Carroll's defense was, they were vulnerable against a power run game. This in turn made Dallas a bad matchup for the NFC's most successful team of the mid-decade. The Cowboys' offensive line featured three All-Pros and a downhill running back who led the NFL in rushing that year. Oh, and that much maligned quarterback of theirs saved the day by pulling a Romo-esque play out of his you-know-what. Romo, still on his feet, lofts it for Whitt. Williams comes in behind him, and that is a catch. How about Tony Romo keeping the play alive in the pocket? 22 yards on third and 20. So assuming Dallas would have run the football 30 times and controlled the clock against Seattle, they probably could have moved on to Super Bowl 49. Up until 2014, the Brady-Belichick Patriots were 3-0 against the Cowboys. What's interesting here, though, is that two of those three games had been defensive battles. Had Super Bowl 49 morphed into the same slugfest, call it advantage Dallas. The Cowboys had the ability to control the clock and limit Brady's touches. And guarantee, if they had the ball at the one with the game on the line, the Dallas offense would have done this. Touchdown, Cowboys! And not this. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. So Dallas would have won it all, right? Wait, back this up. Even if Dez catches that ball and the Cowboys score, that's Aaron freaking Rodgers over there in crunch time against a middling defense at best, down by three at the most. So Rodgers was great in these situations, right? Uh, not so much. Numbers aside, this instant classic was far from over. In fact, the Cowboys couldn't even stop the Packers when all Green Bay was trying to do was run out the clock. Rodgers, that ball is tipped. And it is caught by Cobb. That's it ceiling. Wait, back this up again. All this banner about what's a catch, and Dez caught it, and Rodgers would have brought the Packers back anyway, would all be moot if DeMarco Murray doesn't do this. And out to Murray. Lost the ball. Green Bay is on top of it. Watch this play again. Now that's a hole. If Murray would have held on to the football, he was gone. Dallas would have led 21 to 10 in the second half with a clock eating offense. And presumably, no need to chuck fourth down desperation heaves to their wide receivers. Obviously, a lot of what ifs and too many possibilities to say for sure what would have happened. But here's three things you can hang your hat on. One, if the catch stood and Dallas won, Bryant would get all the credit for a great play. Two, if the Cowboys won this game, but lost in the NFC Championship, or even lost in the Super Bowl, it would have been all Romo's fault. Three, Tom Brady is still lucky.